Hello everybody, this is Sci-Fi Junk yet again on this lovely, wonderful Friday afternoon. And um, I just got done making a video. Um, I'm still kind of working on some of the stuff like uh, the, 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 the description and everything on YouTube. But um, every now and then I actually go through Facebook and um, go, to, go to the groups that I I'm a part of because I'm only part of two groups when it comes to here you know, being here in Wetumpka. But um, I know I'm starting to notice a number of things now. I started to notice how the city manager is wanting to deal with uh, people that she doesn't like. And um, then I've actually seen um, a group owner or group founder, whatever they're called on Facebook, um, that put the groups together, um, actually specifically saying that he's not going to post anymore on his own group. And that everybody else is, is welcome to go ahead and post whatever they want. Um, I'm sure there's probably going to be some stuff that he deletes after a while anyway. Because um, his group happens to be less along the lines of clearing out their... Uh, cleaning out, clearing out the posts on, their, on that wall than the other group that I'm actually part of that happens to have a, a very unfortunate habit to basically clear out almost the entire wall for a particular day or whatever. Now, when it gets to the point where people say they don't want to post in their own group because of the, the, the negativity that other people are going to post in there, especially if they're from the, they're actually in the same city of which it's being Primarily for, in this case, Wotumka. That kind of shows how uh, some people here in Wotumka are dealing with this problem. The coronavirus problem. And uh, if you're going to act this way now... Then I would hate to see what would happen if the you know electric went out and never came back. I would hate to see what would happen if the water just stopped and you'd have to go through go to the you know go through go somewhere else for the water. I would hate to see what would happen when the uh, grocery stores just happened to just not have any food for you to buy. Um, I really would. I really would hate to see what would happen. Because here a couple of days ago, I did the first thing I have done haven't done in a long time, and that was to make sure all the windows were locked. Literally, I had to make sure all the windows were locked. I'm already decide, trying to figure out how I could actually maybe potentially use the uh, some of the stuff here in my housing authority unit to barricade some of these windows because we got a pretty good amount of stuff that we could use and uh so when it comes to that i'm already going to um you know barricade some of these windows limit the point of entry for people to actually come in um yeah and i should i personally shouldn't have to feel this way but i am um, it's it gets getting to that point. Now you can always t you can always tell when the government's hiding something, for when like the city manager decides to make it where you can't see some of the stuff that she posts, and you can tell that uh, that you're not the only one, for the simple fact that uh, when she uh, posted something about. Uh, electric, if you're having still having problems with your electric bill, there's a crap ton of freaking 
crap ton of comments. Crap ton of comments. There's an ever loving amount of comments. But now, whenever she posts something and it says something along the lines of it, it's not accessible to you or it's been deleted, and the, 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 the comments and likes are either not are either not there at all or they're almost non-existent kind of shows you that not everybody's allowed to see her post and so it kind of makes you wonder what is she hiding from everybody else in the group um kind of even kind of make kind of even makes you wonder if even the the uh group owner could even see them so um with that being said the only thing only advice i could possibly give you and you know believe me i am very bad at giving advice but the only advice i could possibly give you is to attempt to be safe and if you happen to be a caregiver like me then Start thinking of a backup plan. Start thinking of a ways to barricade your own windows. Make sure they're locked. Make sure that your doors are locked. Make sure your storm doors are locked if you have any. Um, and just and just write it out. That's basically all I could tell you. Uh, because right now, from what I've seen. Uh, there's a lot of reports about it or a lot of videos that you can find on YouTube now that uh, suggest that this coronavirus may have been released um, on purpose by the China or by by the Japanese or actually by China and that uh, there were a number of labs be it in Canada be it in Russia uh, that either the Chinese have uh, either infiltrated with spies, or ha you know, or something along that lines, and um, so there are reports out there that it, it either came from China, Russia, or Canada, and I'm still lean leaning along the lines of it being something that the Chinese people have. Uh, been working on because there all the, the most of the videos that I come across saying that there's it's, it's supposed to have been a bioweapon and they got a little out of hand and that uh it got released accidentally by somebody being careless so um now I'm not going to rule out the whole 5G stuff because the whole unregulated uh thing about it being unregulated and everything about the 5g and all kind of kind of it, it's still it's still up in here for me on that one but the main thing i'm pushing uh, I, I'm, I'm looking and leaning toward saying that it's most likely from china because it's something that china did and it's not anything about bats or anything like that at least i wouldn't think so anyway because i don't anyway with that being said um, like I said, the only real thing I can even come up with is that to lock windows, doors, anything you can lock, lock them, and then come up with uh, finding things that you can use to barricade your windows, uh, barricade your doors. When it comes to it, don't, don't, don't try to do it now because then you're going to set off all sorts of people thinking that, uh, a number of stuff that they really shouldn't be thinking right now so just just wait and see what you know what other people are i should say wait and see how much worse it gets before doing any you know getting the whole barricading stuff up and with that being said until next time be safe and uh don't have too much fun